Hi, my name is Indy and I'm playing Fiji for my personal learning project and today I am going to be making Gogula as a famous Fiji dessert. So the ingredients are brown sugar, bananas, sultanas, vanilla extra, cardamom, nutmeg, baking powder, milk and flour, the very last one. So today I'm going to show you step by step how to make it. Okay, so these are the utensils that we need to make our gugala. So first we need a bowl, a spoon, different size measuring cups. As you can see, there are smaller ones, bigger ones, or there's just one big large one. And we need a ice cream scooper, which I'll tell you what that is used for later. Okay, so here I've got two peeled bananas in this bowl. I've got half a cup of raisins, which will go in here. And then I've got half a cup of milk that will go in here. So the easiest way to mash all this up, because once it's all in the bowl, you're going to mash it up. Best way to use it is a potato masher. So first I'm going to put in the half a cup of raisins in this bowl. Next I'm going to put in the half a cup of milk. Be very careful, try not to spill any. Now I have to mash it with a potato masher. So I'm just going to mash it all up. This is harder than you, harder than it seems. So we've mashed up all our wet ingredients like banana, milk and sultanas. Now we're going to move on to our dry ingredients like flour, brown sugar, baking powder, nutmeg and cardamom. We are back. So we have mixed up our banana, our sultana and milk. So now we're going to put in our brown sugar and our vanilla extract. So this goes in our brown sugar. So we're just going to move that out of the way. Now we're going to put in our vanilla extract. Be very careful. Try not to spill any of this. It's okay if you do. Just going to spread that out. Now we're going to mix it. So I need to grab my spoon. Oh no. Never mind. We're going to use this again. Okay, we're just going to mix it up. Like this, and that is done. So that's our mix. Come on. So we are back. So I'm gonna to have to make all these ingredients in. First, we need one whole cup of flour. So just pull that in. Now, this is a teaspoon and a half of nutmeg. So just make sure you don't spill any. Just pull that in. Now, this is cardamom. So we need a whole big spoon like teaspoon of this sorry just let me get it very hard to get sorry guys this is just not coming out for me so i have got my cardamom i'm just gonna pour that in now and I put all these down. Now I mix. Now I put baking powder in. So I put one of one of these in. Sorry, it's just a bit. Just trying to clean it out. Okay, so I'm gonna put a whole cup of this baking powder in there. So I'm just gonna mix that in with all that. So overall, we have got. Flour, we have got baking powder, nutmeg and cardigan. Now I got to mix it with the spoon. So I'm just going to mix, mix it around. It's a bit messy, try not to spill me. So just mix it around until you can't really see anything other than the, the baking powder or the flour. So I reckon about 30 seconds just to mix it for. So just a little while. So that is our baking powder, cardigan, nutmeg and flour mix. Okay, so we're back. So we're gonna put all our dry ingredients in with our wet ingredients. So just pour it all in, doesn't matter how you pour it. Just make sure all of it's out, or most of it is. 
Now you're gonna mix it with a spoon, of course. So just mix it back. Keep on mixing it. I'm gonna put it over. So mix it like, you can ask your parents if it's good enough mix. You should be getting supervised anyway. Mix it until there's like the blending in together. So like until all the white stuff's going in with the brown stuff. So it looks like that. So that is all. So now we're actually up to making the good color balls using an ice cream ice cream scoop. So we're not making the mixture anymore. So we're going to use this ice cream scoop to show the mixture doesn't get stuck. It would be preferred to put flour on it. So you need a parent's supervision to use this frying pan. So we're going to fry them. So I'm just gonna, whoop, that's a bit too much. So now we're just gonna like make small little circles like this using this ice cream scoop. So I'm going to make my little gagala balls. So you will need a supervision. So I'm just gonna make this circle like that, I'm gonna hand it over to my dad because you will need an adult's help putting these in a frying pan. May you please, Dad. As you see, he slowly puts it in the frying pan and then it sort of falls. So we're frying these. So we're gonna do it one more time. So don't put too much because we don't want them too big, but depends what you want, if you want them big or small. If you want them big, you can do it. If you want them small, you can do it small. So as again, he's gonna put them in. So I cannot stress enough by telling you guys you need an adult supervision, adult supervision for this frying pan. Okay, so we cook the gargoyles until they're nice and brown, as you can see. And then you just need any type of paper Put it on a plate or anything and let them drain. So my dad's gonna get a gargala out. I don't know how many yet. Yep, just one. Now we're gonna cook them on here until they drain. So like just leave them on here until they drain. So he's doing a couple more. So you just gotta let them sit here for a while until they finish draining. And then they are finished, so they are actually what a gagawa looks like. And thank you for watching my cooking show PLP. Bye. And also say a massive thank you to my dad for helping me.